Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sister Malika here, aka Hidden Curls, coming to you with another video. So today, guys, I just went on and decided to just go ahead on and do a wash and go. I go to the stylist on Friday, but I just didn't want to take the chance of having like little uh, knots or whatever, fairy knots or whatever from the um, mini twist out in my hair because I really couldn't tell. So I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead on and uh, do a wash and go and just prep my hair pretty much for my um, appointment on Friday, which is the 15th. So, plus I was kind of anxious to try this curl mix again. I seen Rosie do it and I was like, mm, I tried that curl mix before. It didn't work for me, but that was when I first started my journey so your girl going you know we like to go back and revisit things thanks rosie so this is what you're looking like looking at here is the um curl mix wash and go now just like before um the only thing with me and the curl mix is what i noticed is i had to do a topper with it it was it was just no getting around it it didn't give me the look and the desired results that I am accustomed to. So what I did was, um, let me double back a little bit. So I actually shampooed my hair with their wash and go shampoo. Now, I've told you guys, I was on the fence about that because I've been using the Dickie shampoo, the No Suds Cleansing Cream, because... It's just very gentle on my hair, and I haven't had any problems. And I love, love, love it. You know, it's just not harsh with this. So I said, well, do I really want to use the shampoo? But I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead on. Since they sent it, I didn't order this. I had just ordered the three and four, but apparently, you know, it comes as a set. And they sent me um, two of everything, pretty much. <clears throat> so I went ahead and shampooed my hair with the step one. <clears throat> I went ahead and I shampooed my hair with the step one, okay? When I tell you, I was pleasantly surprised with the shampoo. When I tell you it was so gentle and moisturizing on my hair, I like fell in love with it. I have to give it another try and, and just make sure what I was experiencing, I was really experiencing. Because from what I experienced from using this today, it, it was awesome. It was moisturizing. It actually had slip. My curls start to form while it was actually shampooing. I loved it. I fell in love with this. Okay. I then went in with uh, the conditioner. Okay, which is the step two. Okay, the only thing is, it, it was okay. The conditioner, it didn't floor me and like the, the shampoo. It was just the conditioner was only okay to me. Okay, and uh, you know, it's just the conditioner. Okay, but it was it was okay. Nothing bad to say about it. Then I went in with the step three which was the um, heavy hold, okay? I used the heavy hold and I applied that. And then with the step four, which is the flaxseed gel, okay? I didn't get the desired results. So I thought, hmm, what can I use as a topper? Initially, I reached for my mop top because you guys know I love, love, love my mop top. But before I applied the mop top to my hair, I said, let me just check, do a test to make sure that this is going to mix well. You know what I mean? Everything don't, don't go together, okay? And I'm so glad I did. It was like cottage cheese on my hands. I was like, oh, thank God I didn't just dump that in my hair. <laughs> that would have been a total disaster. So then I tried the papaya slip. Now, I'm sure you guys remember this from over a year ago. I use this papaya slip. I use it as a combo. I use it as one and done. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check that out. But I fell in love with this papaya slip, okay? So I had a little bit left. It's still maybe a little bit left in there. 
And I said, let me just try this. So this actually mixed well. I did the test and it mixed well. And that's what I used as a topper. Okay. And I love, love, love it. Um, I will definitely um, be using the curl mix again with different toppers because by itself, it's, it's still just like before. It just didn't work for me. I mean, I could see, you know, the curls and it's, I, don't, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just not the desired look for me, um, but just the curl mix. Okay. Also, I don't think that I have the, <clears throat> you know, you have to get that water to product ratio down and know exactly how much product to use. I don't have that down yet. So once I get that down, then you know, I'll just keep playing with it because I have plenty of it. So I'll keep playing with it and see if I can get that down and, you know, just pretty much go from there. But um, for now, I'm going to have to, until I get that down, I'm going to have to throw a top on top of that. Okay. Now, when I, um, I just knew when I shampooed my hair, that I was going to have shed hair I was going to have, okay? Because you guys know I did my mini twists the day before Thanksgiving and I rocked them for like close to two weeks, shampooed that, um, rocked it for a couple more days and then I did a twist out with it and rocked that for about another seven to eight days, okay? So I'm thinking, oh my goodness, um, what is my hair? like once I go to shampoo it. So what I did was instead of just going straight in with the shampoo, I went in with the um, deep conditioner from the Eco Slays line. Um, and I just applied that to my hair and um, made sure that it was no mats or anything in my hair. I, you know, ran plenty of water through and just put that deep conditioner on my hair and just went through it with my fingers and then went through it with my um, Cosmology brush. And I was pleasantly surprised that I didn't have that much shed hair. Now, this is the shed hair that I got from today's wash day. After, you know, having those mini twists. Now, can you believe that? This is it. This is it. This is the shed hair. Not bad at all. And that's what I was concerned about. So that was the only reason why I said, let me wash my hair. Because I kept, I was going back and forth like, mm, I can actually rock this another couple days until I get to the stylist on the 15th. But I was like, mm, I don't want nobody yanking on my hair. I don't know. But I did find uh, a few, it was still a few little mini twists in there. I found a couple back here. I'm like, oh, it's another mini twist. So, I'm, you know, I'm glad I did. So that way, you know what I mean? I'm pretty much prepared for whatever. Also, what I fell in love with was from the Curl Mix um, line, their um, Masters Collection, was this Curl Mix Wash and Go Edge Control. I applied that to my to my edges. My edges feel so good with this one here. Now, I had been um, using this with my twists. I was trying it out because, you know, um, a lot of times when you use edge control, it gives you the, the little white residue, and, and I don't like that. But this didn't, surprisingly didn't. Um, this is what it looks like. It smells like, I think, like maybe a lemony, lemon, lemony uh, fragrance, I think, um, or fruity fragrance, not sure. What I'm smelling, my senses might be a little off. But, um, and I just been applying a little teeny bit. Like, see that? Right to my edges. And it's not, it doesn't like slick them, slick them. It gives you just enough um, edge control. Just enough, not too much, but like just enough. You know what I mean? Which I... I really, really love. I really, really love. Now, let me turn around so you can see the back of my hair. As you can see, I got my glasses on because I ain't did my lashes. And, you know, when I shampoo my hair like that, I take my lashes off and I just did my hair today. So I'm like, I ain't putting them back on tonight. So 
I'll throw my glasses on for the video. So, let me turn my seats here back. That is my back. That is what I'm looking like back there. So, guys, tell me what you think. Um, have you tried the curl mix? Okay, thank you, Rosie, for bringing this back. Um, I really like it. I like the system. Just needs a topper. The shampoo is amazing if you haven't tried the shampoo uh the shampoo the curl mix it, look y'all did yourself with the shampoo because i was a dicky fan with the shampoo I, like lately that's the only shampoo that i found that did not strip my hair was the was the dicky when i used this today i was i was impressed impressed okay my hair didn't feel, it wasn't webbing. It didn't feel clingy. Um, none of that, which I'm getting from those other shampoos. And I don't know if it's because of the color in my hair or what's going on. But mm, yeah, that's why I stopped using. I mean, if you guys notice, I haven't even been using the Innocence um, shampoo and conditioner. Um, the Innocence products I have put on the shelf for a minute. Not seeing them. I'm never going to use them again. But right now, I'm not feeling them. Um, you know, it's just, I don't think it's the right product for my hair. I still have some, I might revisit later on down the line, but right now it's just not a good fit for me. So guys, what do you think of this curl mix and this, you know, look, y'all already know, uh, your girl like combos. Okay. Combos. Okay. So what do you think of this curl mix with this papaya slip combo? Huh? I also have another combo in mind, um, so I will be doing that one next. But on Friday is my day that I go to the stylist for my maintenance. Um, I think I'm going to get the mini twist. I love, love, love the mini twist. As you guys know, I fell in love with the mini twist. And I think I'm going to rock them for a couple weeks and do like I did before. or And then take them out and, and rock them for another week. Um, since I didn't have any problems with the takedown or, you know, once I, you know, um, went to style my hair and shampoo my hair, I didn't have any problems with that. So I definitely can rock those mini twists again, but tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Do you like the curl mix? Have you ever tried the curl mix? Have you ever tried this curl mix combo with the Trippador papaya slip? Okay. I don't even know, you know, with this papaya slip. I purchased this one time and one time only, and that's why I like hardly nothing in here. I fell in love with it, but it's the only thing about Trepador is like, I don't know if they've gotten better, but it's it's hard to get it again. It's like really hard to get it, okay? It's not in the country. It's, they're out of the country, so it's kind of hard to get. You know, a lot of times they're out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, so we'll see how that goes, but um, I'm trying to finish that stuff up anyway. And try new products because I got a lot of new products that I'm purchasing. So I can have a lot of new wash and go uh, combos coming up uh, next year. A lot of new wash and go combos, y'all. Look, your girl been doing the research. Look, uh, you know I love wash and goes, but I fell in love with those mini twists too. Look, like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell your girl what you think. Hit that notification button so you can be notified the next time I upload my new video. Until next time, guys, peace.